Hey guys, this is Vepna Studios, and welcome back. Today, we are going to be playing some more Prison Architect. What? Oh. Anyways, yeah, we're going to be playing some more Prison Architect. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. In the last episode, yeah, crazy shit happened. We got selected to do a <sighs> program by the CEO. A cost-saving program, to be exact, and I'm not too happy about it, to be honest, because this thing lasts for more than three days, and uh, it's really going to piss off our prisoners, to say the least. I just don't want to go through it, because I know our prisoners get pissy as it is, without being, you know, <laughs> fed really shitty food. You know, they're being fed very greatly, and they're still really pissed off. So, I don't know how this is going to affect the prison. Probably some very fun things are going to go... Oh, yeah, just like that. We already got some fun things, speaking of them. <laughs> Aubrey Bailey, age 41. She got sacked for attacking a prisoner. It looks like she attacked Jasmine Maloney. Came up right behind her, socked her in the back of the head, and she got knocked unconscious. She is wanted for some misconduct, though. She is wanted for attacking a staff member, attacking a prisoner. Oh, no. Jasmine Maloney? No, wait. No. Yeah, no. Aubrey Bailey definitely hit Jasmine Maloney because she is the one who's hurt. Or maybe they both attacked? No. No, no, no. I think that's what happened. No. Oh, my God. I, I, You guys are probably like, what the fuck is he saying? I mean, Jasmine Maloney got attacked by Aubrey Bailey. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I'm not exactly sure because I didn't see it, though, but that is my guesstimation. And I think we have some fighting going on in here. Yes. What's happening? This guy's got his baton out. What's happening? No? Are we good? All right. I think we're good. Dogs are sniffing someone down right now. They're sniffing down Alice Welch, age 34. She's gone two days without an incident. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. She's got $13.86, which doesn't seem to be too bad. That seems to be above the average a little bit in terms of money. Oh, no. These guys are fucking rich. Holy shit. $55? Okay, so she's actually pretty poor then, huh? Or maybe $55. Yeah, no. That's $10 is kind of around the average I'm seeing. Actually, no. It's kind of poor. Yeah, it's kind of on the poor side. I, I wonder if there's an easier to way to see, like, how much money your prisoners have. I don't know if there is, though. I don't think there is. Hmm. Yeah, probably not. I really like that there is a commissary program in the game, though. That That's really cool. I just love that. But yeah, $10 is pretty damn poor. A lot of these guys have 50 40, 30, 30 again. Damn, they're rich as fuck. You gotta save that money up and get yourself a gumball. Oh, God. We got some tasering going on. I don't know where that just went down, but we got some tasering going on. A lot of people in solitary. Eight people currently in solitary and ten people waiting to go into solitary. That's not too good. That is not too good. We have 30 prisoners, normal security prisoners, mind you, coming in about an hour. Yep, and now exactly an hour they will be coming. That'll give us 15k, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm thinking of hiring even more workmen, because I don't know why we need 40. Like, honestly, these guys are taking so fucking long to actually do their job. Like, why is it taking so long? I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm building on such a large scale. I, I, I really don't know. I'm going to assign a guard to that classroom right there, though. And I'm going to go ahead and get 10 more guards to go ahead and balance out the 30 extra prisoners that we are going to be getting today. And, yeah. There's that. Like, our prisoners still haven't finished with these toilets over here. You guys remember when we placed down these toilets? They are still not finished with placing those down. I think it's because of my door situation. I think my door situation is really fucking terrible. Like, where are these guys going? Where are they going? St oh, they're going to a supply truck? All the way up here, though? See, that's probably why. Damn. Maybe I will hire more, uh, <laughs> more workmen, then. 
Maybe get 50? See, I feel like that's too excessive, though. And oh my god, we got some screaming. What's happening? What is happening? Oh, damn! <laughs> what? She was just eating her freaking breakfast and she gets tased out of nowhere? What did she do? What the hell did she do? She had luxuries on her. She attacked a prisoner. Oh, maybe she attacked, um... Leela Porter, age 18, with, like, a knife or something. Damn! These guys are furious. Or gals, I should say. <laughs> These gals are furious. Fuck, man. Look at that. She's got three things of eggs. That guy's got two things of jalopy. It's terrible. <laughs> Our danger is going down, though, thankfully. I think I might hire more workmen, though. Honestly. Like, five more. Because it's just ridiculous how long building is taking us right now. And I'm pretty sure it's just because we have such a large facility. And, like, look at this. They haven't even finished this shit over here. Like, they need to get working. Alright, I'm gonna hire even more. Let's get up to 50. Jesus, we have a ridiculous staff team right now. We have an absolutely ridiculous staff team. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh... <laughs> Let's go ahead and finish up this garden over here, though. Um, oh, we can make sheds. I completely forgot about that. Um, maybe we should go ahead and place a few sheds in here, then. We'll do three sheds right there. And then we'll just have rows like this, continuing on the rest. I'm interested to see what sheds actually do. I'm pretty sure it's for chickens, right? I mean, that would make the most logical sense. But we'll see how it works out. Pretty interested to actually see it. Oh, God. We got a fight going on up there. Let's see. Let's check it real quick. Oh, it's in the shower room. Lovely. Two naked gals fighting each other. Nothing more perfect than that. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and get some tables placed down in here. And I'm going to have these placed down up against the fence, of course, as per usual. There we go. Just like that. Place them like that. And get some more garden plots going. There we go. And then I'm going to start doing sideways ones like this. Just like that. Actually, no, I don't like that. I do not like that. Do not do that. We're going to keep it going up and down. Just like that. And of course, we'll have to assign prisoners to work here once we're done. But this is going to help our prison rake in that extra bit of dosh, which is really going to help out. And yeah, that looks like a fine little gardening area to me. Let's keep it. I want to get one of those wood areas up. What are they called? Um, what are they called? A forestry. I really do want to get a forestry up. Even though, like I said before, it doesn't really work in terms of prison labor. Your workmen do it. I really just want to get it up because it gives you money. God damn it. Like, it's money. Why would you give away money? Like, get some of that shit. You get good money. Really good money, actually. So I think I'm going to make this area up here into the forestry. This should work out perfectly as a forestry. There we go. And we'll just assign it as a forestry. Now I believe they will start planting stuff and whatnot by themselves. Outdoor. What do you mean it's not outdoor? Oh, there it goes. Okay. So yeah, I believe they will start planting things themselves. Maybe I have to do the trees, though. Oh, I might have to, yeah, I might have to place down trees myself. All right, so there we go. That is our forestry all set up. We got a decent amount of trees, considering the size of the area. So that's really great. That is awesome. Oh, they're going to place down trees for me, too? Uh, all right. I guess that works. Um, <laughs> sweet. So yeah, that takes care of the forestry, and once again, that will help us rake in a shit ton more 
of that dash, which is really going to help out with prison expenses. Right now, we're getting 6k a day, which is absolutely insane. And then you have to add up how much we're getting for prisoner intake, and we'll be able to take in another 30 prisoners. Actually, are we still processing prisoners right now? We might still be processing prisoners. No, we aren't. All right, so yeah, we'll actually be able to take in like 30 prisoners tomorrow too. So that's freaking fantastic. I love it, man. Freaking love it. Maybe we should start placing down furniture in the cell block over here as well. I don't see why not. Let's do it. I believe you can also place down bunk beds in cells and then have like two-man cells if you wanted to do that. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to have it one person to a cell. At least for these styled cells anyways. Oh, actually, wrong side. <laughs> they need to go on that side. Yes, like that. Oh, we got more fighting. Yup, I hear the coppers. I hear them. What's happening? Eliana Gilmore, age 40. Oh, man, look at that. She's legendary. Jesus. Get up there, man. Get up there. Oh, God. Oh, there we go. She got tased. What? She survived the tase. Free fire. Free fire. Shoot that bitch. Aw, damn it. Your boy didn't get there fast enough. <laughs> I didn't get to click the button fast enough. Damn it. <laughs> it's actually not good for your prison to kill your prisoners, by the way, because of this prison grading system. Uh, you want to keep your prison grade up there. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, <laughs> if you're playing for the sake of money, though, just to get money, I guess it's not a bad idea. But anyways, let's just continue placing down beds. <laughs> oh my god. And like I said before, I am going to turn a few of these cells into family rooms. I think I might do this rightmost side. And just make those into family rooms instead of regular cells. Because why not? Why the hell not? Yeah, there we go. What do family rooms actually need, though? That's the question. Hmm. Did we get power running through here? We sort of did. It's not hooked up yet, though. Alrighty. We need to place down doors on these cells as well while we're at it. So let's get some large jail doors going. Alrighty, so there we go. I went ahead and set all of this up. I still have to hook up piping. So I'm not going to forget about that. I do have to do that still. But I did get all these rooms set up. So, you know, we've got our standard rums right here, just a bed, a toilet, and the bookshelf. And then for the family room, we have the crib, the bookshelf, the bed, the toilet, and then the shower, which is basically what we did if we go all the way over here. It's exactly what we did over here. It's just in a flipped layout. So that's really great. And that'll complete it for that cell block. We just have to hook up the water, like I said before and i think i i'm not sure if oh no it should it should yeah it will oh actually is this area getting water no it's not all right so those cells up there aren't getting water so we'll just have to extend the large pipes a little bit then we'll just have them going up to the first toilet And then that should solve the problem. Yeah, there we go. Actually, we might need a, a little bit more than just the first toilet. We'll go to the first two toilets. We'll do that. And that should be more than enough pipage to get water to those cells. All right. So we'll just do the first two toilets right there again. Or three. Those were the first three. Damn. All right. We'll do the first three then. <laughs> so there we go. First three, and then we'll just have the small pipes running the rest of the way. Just like that. And that'll do it. That is that cell block already. We just have to wait for our workers to finish building it, and then we are all good. We are fine and dandy to go. We'll just have to assign the room designations. That's it. Ah, uh, we've got a fight in the holding cell! Uh, 
Look at them. Two naked hillbillies. Liliana Hill, age 38, and Adeline Beater, age 63. Okay, she's gonna be... <laughs> she probably sagging a little... Stop! Oh, my God! Okay, um... But yeah, we gotta fight. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to go that fast. Oh, you see that? She popped... She, <laughs> they beat her and popped the uniform on her right at the same time. Look at that shit. Anyways, I don't know. I just thought that was interesting. I'll show you guys the fight in the holding cell. There we go. Danger is higher than it should be because, well, our prisoners aren't getting the nutrition that they should be to keep them happy. Well, actually, we, we could keep it on low, but all of their other needs need to be, like, extremely gone, extremely eliminated. And if you take a look at their food need, it's ridiculous right now. They still have... Um, one hour of work and then an hour of free time and then they go to eat dinner again. So yeah, it looks like the low ration, low variety meal plan. Holy fuck. Dude, she just had four guards beating on her. Eliana Gilmore again? Jesus. This Goyle's insane, dude. That Goyle is absolutely insane. Holy shit. All right, well, anyways, these goyles are all working. I wanted to take a look at our farms over here, or our gardens, because we never really look at them. And look at all this information, too. This is from the other gardening mod that I got, mind you. So what is happening over here? We've got a plant type called Garden Rose. The plant is ripe, so it's ready to be harvested. It is 5,763 minutes old. And the maximum age it can be is 5,760 uh, minutes old. Um, okay. Oh, oh, I get it. Okay, so the max age is when it's ready to be harvested. And anything after that, uh, it really doesn't matter. Okay, so I get it. And it tells you when they need to be fertilized and when they need to be watered. That's really cool. That is really cool. What is this? Uh, ingredients. Okay, okay. What about this? Garden cucumber. Cool. Potatoes. Garden cucumbers, garden lily. Cool. What are these? Garden tomatoes. Awesome, man. Alrighty, so it is dinner time right now. Our prisoners are about to get their last meal of the day and then head off to bed. As you can see, a lot of them are super pissed because they aren't being fed their food need is absolutely ridiculous and that's why i was so distressed when this freaking reduce meal quantity and variation low like that shit when that shit came up i got really worried because of this but the prison isn't rioting like there aren't full-scale riots prisoners are pretty pissed off but there aren't any full-scale riots there are a few fights here and there but that's it nothing other than the usual stuff you know we usually have fights every now and then every single day so i'm not too worried about miscellaneous fights here and there they'll just get punished and suppressed and that actually works out to my advantage so yeah there is that we're gonna have to modify our prisoner intake though because we definitely aren't going to be able to take in 30 prisoners tomorrow instead i'm going to do 10 and we're going to get maximum security guys so that way we can get the most out of our money and the most out of our cells so there we go we'll get 10 grand from that and we should be good Ooh, it looks like we found poison two things of poison on isabella hertford or herford age 24 she's a confidential informant do we have anyone in solitary right now yes we do can we recruit anyone liliana hill is a potential informant let's go ahead and recruit her and it looks like that is the only one who can be a potential informant. All right. It would be really nice to get Eliana Gilmore as an informant because she is just insane. She isn't a gang member, though, so... Mm. Ooh, she's an instigator? Ooh, that would be nice if we could get her as a confidential informant. All right. Cool. Cool. Found some more poison on this Goyle. Sweet. So yeah, prisoners are just going up getting their food. And that's that. Some of these people are eating though. I'm noticing that. We're producing enough meals for our prisoners. I don't know why they're not eating. There's like tons of bacon right there. Huh. 
A lot of them were eating. Maybe it's because of money. Maybe you need money to be able to eat. I don't think so, though. I really think that eating is free and then just commissary costs money. Hmm. Oh, we need to fix up this over here. Fuck. <laughs> Let's get that fixed so that way we can get these cells back up and working. Damn. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> All right, so we need to replace the floors as well. So concrete floors, there we go. And that's it for that. Cool. And that's also it for this day. So I will see you guys when we come back in the morning. Alrighty, welcome back to the morning, everybody. There's only one more hour left until our prisoners are going to go ahead and get their breakfast. And what I'm noticing here is I'm looking at the holding cell, right? And there's ridiculous overcrowding, like ridiculous overcrowding. And our prisoners are not sleeping. So I think in the holding cell, I'm going to add in a bunk bed. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do this, but that's what I'm going to do. So that way our prisoners who are in the holding cell can actually sleep. And we'll add a, a bunk bed over there as well. I don't know if that'll help them sleep. It should. But yeah. And I'm also not sure why there are so many prisoners in the holding cell. Like we have open beds in the dormitory. Like if you take a look over here. Look at all these bunk beds. Look at them. We're not overflowing on prisoner population. So I don't really know why that's happening. If you guys know why that's happening with our holding cell, please, please, please let me know in the comments below. And I think I'm going to actually go ahead and get rid of 10 of our cops. Um, we'll get rid of the ones at the bottom first because they don't have um, tasers, of course. So we'll get rid of those guys. I believe that's five. No, one more. There we go. All right. Because we really don't need those guys. We have 27 free guards. 25, 24. Yeah. We, we have way too many free guards. We don't need those guys. I would like to go ahead and set my intake up a little bit. Um, let's get it to 14. And now they're going to go off to breakfast. Hopefully... Oh my god. These guys... This is a fucking riot waiting to happen right here, though. These guys are going to explode. They don't have any sleep. Yeah, no, they're going to explode. Holy hell. Hopefully food's going to hold them. Oh, yeah. Look at that. They exploded. They exploded. Yep, they're going naked and killing people. And oh, my God. Oh, we got more guys over here. Free fire. Free fire. Holy hell. Holy fucking hell. Oh, my God. This is a lot of prisoners. Maybe I shouldn't have fired those extra 10 guards. Oh my god. Two deaths. One prisoner. Oh, she was a snitch. That's why she died. Oh my god. Another prisoner dead. Holy shit, man. Get more prisoners then. <laughs> Fuck. Got prisoners beating up on this guard over here. They're done now, though. Damn. More. More of them. Jesus. Yeah, this meal plan is really fucking us up. On the bright side, though, I am noticing that my workers are more efficient. They seem to be getting the job done a lot faster than they were before. And I think that's obviously because, you know, they have more people. But, yeah, they seem to be getting the job done very, very fast now, actually. So that's great. All right, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this mess off here. If you guys are enjoying watching me play Prison Architect, then please, please, please go ahead and hit me up with a comment, hit me up with a like, and hit me up with that subscribe if you haven't already. Once again, thank you guys so, so much for tuning in to another episode of Let's Play Prison Architect, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!